We have connection. Repeat. Full brain-to-brain -brain sync established. We're happy to announce humanity's first brain-to-brain -brain connection is live. The Internet of Brains will be available to everyone on Earth next week. We began in caves, grunting at shadows, praying to stars, and with tired legs and burning minds, we crossed the dark ages, breaking stone to splitting atoms, shouting across valleys to whispers through wires. And now you think, and someone across the world hears you, not through sound, but through the cloud, a whole new era of reality is beginning. Your brain has an IP address and your thoughts are no longer yours alone. In this episode, we explore the Internet of Brains. Humanity's unique ability to share complex thoughts stems from our extraordinary brain evolution. Early humans likely communicated with simple gestures and vocalizations, but over millennia, the brain's architecture adapted to encode abstract ideas into language. Key regions such as Broca's area for speech production and Wernicke's area for language comprehension emerged in the left hemisphere, giving us the neural wiring to turn thoughts into words. Crucially, the motor cortex sends signals to our vocal apparatus, tongue, lips, larynx, to produce speech, or to our hands for gestures. French neurologist Paul Broca first linked damage in a specific left frontal region to lost speech, revealing that speech ability is localized in the brain. A century later, neurosurgeon Wilder Penfield electrically stimulated awake patients' brains and mapped which areas control various body parts and sensations. He found disproportionately large brain areas devoted to the tongue, lips and hands, reflecting how vital communication, speech, hand signs, is to humans. Our brains grew in both size and complexity, but it's not just raw size that matters. It's the specialized circuits for memory, social cognition, and language processing. For instance, to understand a spoken sentence, different brain areas must decode sounds, pass grammar, and connect words to meaning, all in fractions of a second. Great scientists like Broca and Penfield uncovered that our brains literally devote hardware to turning internal thoughts into external signals. These early findings set the stage for today's quest to directly read and transmit thoughts using technology. Before we dive into the complex technicalities and fascinating architectures of the brain, I'd like to ask you to hit the like button and subscribe. Your support inspires us, celebrates great minds and innovations, and helps us work towards building a better world and future. Converting brain signals into digital information is no longer science fiction. The field of brain-computer interfaces BCIs has made remarkable strides in decoding the brain's electrical language. A BCI typically uses electrodes or sensors to record neural activity and algorithms to translate those signals into commands. For example, electroencephalography EEG, caps, can pick up the faint electrical patterns from neurons firing in the cortex. In contrast, Advanced implants placed directly in the brain can capture signals from individual neurons. Using such methods, researchers have enabled people to control computers, robotic limbs, or cursors using only their thoughts. These systems 
literally serve as a bridge from mind to machine output. Conversely, there are also computer-to-brain interfaces, where external stimuli, like electric or magnetic pulses, deliver information into the brain. By combining these, scientists have even linked two brains together via a computer, as we'll see shortly. How do we decode a thought? In practice, BCIs often focus on specific patterns that correspond to intended actions or words. For instance, when you imagine moving your right hand, the motor cortex shows a characteristic signal that an EEG or implant can detect. Using machine learning, that signal can be classified as hand movement. In one pioneering BCI study, a paralyzed person learned to mentally move a cursor and click letters on a screen, eventually typing out messages without any muscle movement. Elon Musk's Neuralink, for example, is developing high bandwidth wireless implants. In 2021, Neuralink demonstrated a 1024 electro de wireless chip N1 link implanted in a macaque monkey. The monkey, named Pager, learned to play the video game Pong using only its mind. The implant recorded the motor intentions and transmitted them to move the paddle on screen. Overall, current technology allows us to record, interpret, and even transmit simple thoughts, like move my hand, or yes, no, between brains. It's still early days, we are mostly decoding basic motor or linguistic signals, not complex in a dialogue. If linking one brain to a computer is possible, why not link brains to each other? The idea of a brain internet, a network transmitting information from brain to brain, is now being tested in laboratories. In fact, the first human brain-to-brain -brain interface was demonstrated in August 2013 at the University of Washington. In that experiment, one researcher, wearing an EEG cap, thought about firing a cannon in a video game. And across campus, another researcher's finger involuntarily moved to press the fire button at that exact moment. The second person wore a transcranial magnetic stimulation, TMS, device over their motor cortex, which delivered a magnetic pulse causing their hand to move when it received the EEG-triggered command over the internet. This was a one-way transmission of a simple motor command, but it proved the concept. A brain signal from person A was captured, sent via computer, and induced an action in person B's brain. As one of the researchers put it, the internet was a way to connect computers, and now it can be a way to connect brains. They jokingly called it a Vulcan mind meld, a nod to Star Trek. In 2014, researchers in Spain and France used EEG and TMS to send the words hola and ciao from a person in India to a person in France, a distance of 5,000 miles. The sender merely thought of the word in binary code via a mental task and the receiver, wearing a TMS apparatus, perceived flashes of light that encoded the message. This showed that geography is no barrier. As long as brains are connected by networks of computers, the internet, they can potentially exchange signals. So why is this idea of a brain internet so intriguing and crucial? One reason is speed and richness of communication. Our normal communication is constrained. We translate thoughts into words, speech or text, which is relatively slow, maybe 100 to 200 words per minute when speaking. Nuances or complex ideas can be lost in translation. Direct brain-to-brain -brain links could, in theory, 
transmit concepts, images, or knowledge instantaneously without language barriers. Another researcher mused that a pilot on the ground could one day guide the brain of a passenger to land a plane in an emergency. Essentially, tele-mentoring brain to brain. Of course, creating a true internet of brains faces huge technical challenges. The human brain has tilde 86 billion neurons firing in complex patterns, a data stream far beyond what today's technology can fully capture or transmit. Current BCIs tap at most a few hundred channels of information. To share arbitrary thoughts or memories, we'd need to record a vast amount of neural data and make sense of it, which may require breakthroughs in nanotech, computing power, and neuroscience. What could we achieve if brain-to-brain -brain communication becomes commonplace? A global brain network could transform how knowledge and ideas spread, allowing innovations to propagate at the speed of thought. An expert's tacit knowledge might be directly felt or experienced by others, like an aspiring pilot downloading the neural pattern of a skilled pilot's maneuvers. The potential for education and empathy is profound, as people could literally share what it's like to be in someone else's shoes. Brain-to-brain -brain communication already exists in nature, in simpler forms. Humans, when speaking and listening, are already transmitting brain patterns indirectly. Technology could bypass language and transmit thoughts directly. A brain network would be like a supercharged version of animal communication, enabling humans worldwide to synchronize and share ideas seamlessly. This could create a collective intelligence to tackle complex global problems. Silent thought calls, brain-to-brain -brain meetings, and even mind posts could replace social media. Entertainment might become shared neural experiences, and those with disabilities could communicate directly through thought. While the technology is far from reality, incremental steps like brain-controlled devices hint at its possibility. Success will depend not just on technical breakthroughs, but ensuring the network empowers humanity rather than controls it. While the prospects are thrilling, they come with serious ethical and social implications. A technology that can read or share thoughts cuts to the core of privacy and autonomy. It's essential to address the dark side before brain-to-brain -brain communication becomes widespread. If our thoughts can be decoded, who controls that access? One's mind is the last refuge of privacy. Involuntary mind-reading or interception of thoughts would be dystopian. Governments or corporations could eavesdrop on thoughts, or hackers could steal neural data. There's also the risk of addiction. If collective mind-sharing feels euphoric, people may retreat from reality. Inequality could grow too, as those with access to brain networks advance while others fall behind. Strong neuro-cybersecurity will be essential, with encryption keys, authentication and possibly neural firewalls. Researchers and ethicists emphasize caution. Many call for new rights, cognitive liberty and mental privacy. Chile, for instance, proposed a neuro rights law in 2021 to protect brain data and free will. International guidelines are being discussed to ensure this tech respects human rights. Just as early internet pioneers never imagined social media manipulation, we must anticipate unintended outcomes of the brain internet. As we enter this frontier, we must remain optimistic yet clear-eyed about the challenges ahead.